Now Land Rover has officially taken the wraps off the facelift Discovery Sport. Now a facelift normally is a headlight or a bumper change. This of course has all of those but it has a little bit more too. Now the platform underneath the Discovery Sport is now brand new. So the older one was based on the D8 platform. This one is now based on the premium transverse architecture platform which is also the one that underpins the Evoque. So let's talk about design a little bit more and then we'll take you a little inside and of course we'll tell you what's under the bonnet here. Uh, so design biggest changes of course, the fact that this now looks like the bigger Discovery. It's a lot smoother around the corners on the bumper. It's of course that little bulge in the old Discovery's headlight is gone. Everything is more smoother now, new daytime running lights and all the variants which is the S and the R Dynamic, both of them get the all LED headlamps as standard. Now the R Dynamic which is what this is also gets all of this, the lower half of the bumper and the cladding is all painted in the body colour and I particularly like this smoothened out design, a little bit of a vent here too to sort of channel air past the wheels and, and into the brakes and of course this one again the variant gets these gloss touches, the gloss black touches on the grille and on the bottom half as well. 18 inch wheels on this particular car and of course again the two-tone black roof which looks much nicer as compared to uh, the standard single color i think it sort of brings out the design of the discovery sport a lot more again as i mentioned earlier the the claddings on the wheel arches the claddings on the bottom all body colored on this r dynamic version of course you got that little badge that reminds you what variant it is now moving around the back again as with the headlamps you get new tail lamps lovely little lighting element here and uh, dynamic uh, indicators as well very very cool looking tail lamps and again with the gloss black accent piece on the bottom half the nice little diffuser on the bottom and these four exhaust pipe sort of treatment within like this blush aluminium uh, overall the car looks a little bit nicer than before which is uh, quite a nice sort of compliment because the discovery sport was never a bad looking car now it's not just platform changes that the Discovery Sport has, it's of course a little bit of an update under the bonnet as well. So now all the uh, Discovery Sport models, petrol and the diesel are BS6. This one here is the 2 litre diesel called the D180 that makes 177 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque, while the 2 litre petrol called the P250 will make 245 horsepower and 365 newton meters of torque. That motor will also be paired to a 48 volt mild hybrid system and both these engines that come from the Ingenium family will be mated to a 9-speed automatic with all-wheel drive. Now on the interior, the Discovery Sport again has been tarted up to look uh, a lot nicer uh, as compared to the last generation or the last pre-facelifted version as they're calling it. So a lot of gloss black has been used to make it look a lot more contemporary. Uh, I love this sort of raw wood finish on the center console at the bottom here and this aluminum bezel for the gear shifter. I, uh, same wood has been used on the side panels on the door as well. Uh, lovely red stitching on the dashboard and on the seats and uh, again as I mentioned a lot of gloss black use the center console uh, is uh, nice and large it doesn't have the second screen as the other Land Rover or Range Rover models do but um, these buttons and these knobs do have multiple uses so for example uh, if you press the fan button this changes what it's supposed to do instead of the temperature control for the left side passenger and similarly for the right side this can be used as temperature control for me, but if I want to change the drive mode instead of having a separate button or a knob, now there's a little button here which sort of has a dual use for this knob. So you can put it in the snow, the auto, the ruts and of course the sand mode. We'll keep it in the standard mode of course because we're on the road and we'll turn it off for now. But again, back to the air conditioning controls. Uh, the screen again, slightly high definition. You also have this lovely rear view mirror which is called the clear sight rear view mirror. So you can have it as standard and it can be used as a mirror and you can see what, what's happening at the back but if you have say a lot of passengers in the back or if you have a big uh, sort of luggage piece in the back that's uh, restricting your uh, view then you can change it to a camera and a high resolution display and the camera is actually on the roof in the, in the radio um, antenna and it's a really really high definition rear view mirror. So a little bit of tech that's been added here to make it look quite cool. Of course, other features include an all digital instrument cluster. There's a massive panoramic roof uh, that doesn't really open. So it's just a panoramic roof. It's not a panoramic sunroof uh, that opens up separately, but just this uh, cover that comes on top of it. Um, but on the whole, the Discovery Sport now, a nicer place to be as compared to the last generation car. And considering the fact that that was quite a nice place to be in any case, this is actually a bigger step up. One of the other unique features of the Discovery Sport that sets it apart in its price range is the 5 plus 2 seat, 7 seater layout. 
Now, the new Discovery Spot also comes with connected car features with the Land Rover Remote app. So, what it essentially tells you remotely is your fuel levels, your range, your odometer reading. This, of course, is a brand new car. So, it's showing just 11 kilometers. It's also showing your vehicle status. So, windows, doors, boot, etc. You can lock and unlock the car remotely as well. Uh, it also shows you your car's location and the directions to your vehicle. You can also remotely start or stop your climate control and pre-cool or pre-warm your car depending on what the temperature is outside and what you want the car to be. And of course, if you really need help, Land Rover assistance is right here too. So connected car features coming standard on the Land Rover Discovery Sport and in fact, standard across all new Land Rovers from this year and all Jaguars from this year too. Now, as we mentioned earlier, the Land Rover Discovery Sport gets two variants, S and R Dynamic. The S version for the diesel starts at 57 lakh 6,000 rupees, while the R Dynamic is 60 lakh 89,000 rupees. Prices for the petrol aren't out yet. We'll expect them in maybe about a month or so from now.